gentlemen, my name is Total Biscuit, and I'm here to ask and answer one simple question for you. WTF is Risk Factions. This popped up on Steam recently. It's actually been on consoles for a little bit longer than that, and it's a computerized version of Risk. However, it includes a lot of different modes, including a lot of the 2008 Risk rules, which are completely different to the original game. Now, I must attest, I did not play an awful lot of Risk when I was younger. It was not one of the games that I preferred. I was more into Warhammer and Talisman and things like that, so Risk was not really a priority for me. But whatever the case, I do sort of remember how to play, and we're going to be mostly having a look at the new set of rules and the 2008 version, which is incorporated in this particular game. So without further ado, we'll have a look at the feature list. What we have here is we've got a war record, and we'll tell you exactly an awful lot of stats, let me put it that way, which is actually really cool. I like that. I mean, the fact that it records your dice rolls is pretty damn fantastic. There are movies for these various different chapters, and there's a very short campaign mode, which I believe consists of, as far as I can tell, about five games. I've done the first one to do the tutorial, to familiarize myself with the interface and things like that. And there are five factions, including these evil cats, which I think we're going to be playing in this particular demonstration. Aside from that, you've got your multiplayer mode right here. You can either play Classic Risk or you can play Risk Factions. Classic Risk is exactly what you would expect it to be. And I don't think that really needs too much explanation. The interface of the game seems to work pretty well for it. You can also set up a custom game of Risk or Risk Factions with pretty much everything you would like. Now, bear in mind, there are a couple of different modes here. Command Room has a set of objectives in it. And then you've got World Conquest, which basically means you have to conquer the entire world. And you can also customize your requirements, Quick Game, Normal Game, and Epic Game. So... More objective requirements if you want a longer game and things like that. Random setup. Many players as you want. There's the classic risk map. And it also comes with a couple of others. I believe you can unlock some of these. I recall unlocking one after beating the tutorial. So they're not all available initially. Which is kind of dumb. And I hate it whenever games do that. It makes no sense. On a helmet about, you've got how to play which includes the rules for classic risk as well. There you go, even with the cards that they used to have. The features of it. Awful lot of different stuff in here. An awful lot of areas that you can, if you so desire, take control of, and they will give you access to different abilities. The first one that I took hold of in the tutorial was the missile, which will give you a bonus dice when attacking or defending territories within range of it. When you control three of these barracks areas and these barracks territories, you will get access to the missile. It's kind of neat. There's a dam, there's mines, geothermal plants, volcanoes, solar arrays, etc., etc. And you've got your game types and everything like that. So, without further ado, let's uh, kick off, shall we? And one of the most amusing things about this particular game is the graphic style. So, only best to show you that as we go into a bridge to fur. Alright, mortar training. Turn those targets to tapioca. Crab cakes. Yes, quite. See this hands, hot guts meal! We have been attacked. And now, the gloves are coming off! Attention, humans! What is it, meow? You have attacked my region without provocation! Apologize at once! Over my dead body. That can be arranged. Sorry, Meow. We don't negotiate with quadrupeds. <laughs> see, see. Enjoy this day, me quadrupeds. For tomorrow, the sky will blacken with our thunder, and your streets will run a damp with this slime from your noses. Yes. Now, aside from being deafened by the cutscenes, how why is it that so many games these days seem to do that? You change the volume control for everything, and it does it for pretty much everything, with the exception of the cutscenes, which then deafen you. Whatever the case, the graphic style of this uh, is very, very nice indeed, and you'll be happy to note that this graphic style keeps going on into the game, as opposed to simply being the opening cutscenes of these shortish campaign missions. Now, these campaign missions are designed to introduce you to the various 
things within the game, including these, you know, these areas I imagine we're going to have to be controlling. So let's kick it off right here, shall we? There we go. Now, those, these are your objectives right here. You can only complete one of these every turn. Once you've completed it, then the other players in the game can't complete it. So it's a race to get them. And each one of these will unlock a reward. As you can see there, you can unlock an airfield to place that, which will give you some bonuses. You can get an extra attack dice, etc., etc. So it's pretty neat. And you can check out what those objectives actually require. So, for the meantime, onward for great cat justice. Now... If we get a hold of this side of the dam right here, which is going to take quite a bit of work, then we should hopefully be able to gain control of this. This is... Why did they not... It's funny, because this was one of the complaints I would have had if I'd just played the first campaign mission. They've now unlocked the ability to speed up the AI. Why was that not in the original mission? Uh, oh, I'm sorry, that's too complex. You can't have that. Seriously? Oh, wow. It is a good job that I played for a little bit longer than that because that would have been absolutely stupid right now I think I can attack across this territory. I certainly hope so because so, I'm gonna place most of my troops here give myself a there we go So I can attack there and I'm a little bit unhappy about the state of this so I'm gonna try and reinforce these areas just a little bit and there we go so you gain troops based on how many territories, capitals, and special buildings you control, and you can draft them into any location you have access to at the start of your turn. Then you can attack, and you can attack pretty much anything that's adjacent to you. I'm hoping this... Oh, as it turns out, it is not, in fact, adjacent to that, but it is adjacent to that. What? What? That doesn't make any sense. That's across a... That's a... Oh, God. Ah, I see. There's a little roots there. Right, well, now I feel like a dumbass. Well, in the meantime, we might as well take control of this to show you how attacking works. Go, my evil cat ninjas! Now, you get these little graphics down the bottom, which are absolutely fantastic. Really big fan of these. Then you can roll one, two, three dice, or you can just sort of do an infinite roll until you win. Obviously, if you do an infinite roll, you might decide that you want to just back off and not lose a ton of troops if you're being particularly unlucky. But we're going to do an infinite roll there. Scratchy, scratchy. Down he goes. The cat army advances. Okay, so then you can choose how many troops you wish to advance into that particular territory. Now, I'm going to put three there. I don't want to take too many away from that. And it will also get you a reward. These rewards are generally consist of general stars, which can be traded in on the next turn for troops. And the more that you have, the more troops you get. And it's not just a linear scale. You get more and more and more. It's multiplicative. So it's worth saving them up for a big troop push. Right. No, and we're going to attack this one as well. I think we'll just... One dice roll should hopefully be enough here. Oh! He threw grenades at my cat. God damn you! Oh, there you go. Lost that. You didn't actually see the dice rolls because you don't see the dice rolls if you just put it on infinite rolling mode. But we'll show you that in a minute. Right, so my territory actually kind of sucks right now. I'm not a fan of this. This, These are all under massive, massive threat. Uh, I might be able to hit and take that one, but I'll probably lose it the turn after. We'll go for it anyway. We shall just have a single roll. Attack, my cat soldiers. Oh, wow. It's furry dice. Look at that. Like I said, this game has a very, very sharp presentation style that I do like an awful lot. They've put an awful lot of effort into making it seem slick. And the interface is good even on a PC, bearing in mind this was actually designed for console. I've not got any problems with the way that the interface is designed. Works just fine with mouse. And it is just mouse driven. You don't need a keyboard. Okay, now we can maneuver troops if we wish to reinforce. The main problem I've got is that I'm kind of in a really sucky situation, but I can at least move troops over here, so I can try and at least hold this area. There we go, and I gain a general's star. So I can trade that in for troops afterwards, or I can just hold on to it. Okay, opponent's turn. Now, this entire area is going to get completely screwed. There we go. It's one taken out. It'll probably take a few more. Or maybe he won't. Okay. Evidently, AI is a little silly. You could have very easily taken at least one of those, but hey. Right. Onward we go. Now, I don't believe I've got enough general stars to trade in for anything. 
There you go, get a couple of extra troops to hold the capital. And I've got six to deploy now. My priority is to get a hold of the dam so that I can start using the special ability that it gives. So I'm going to throw pretty much everything I have at this. With the exception of this area right here, which I'm going to try and reinforce just a little bit. And hopefully, and this is going to be kind of an even roll. Bear in mind, defenders will win if you uh, roll an equal number to them. So, this could be a little bit risky, but we're going to try for it anyway. Okay. Three dice roll, let's see what we get. Go, my furry dice! Oh, that's not bad. That wasn't so great, but hey, there you go. Right, so I actually didn't win that. Interesting. So I managed to take one of them out. Yeah, okay, I see how it works. Yeah, I'm not doing amazingly well here. Oh, come on with your fives, seriously. And yes, he does appear to have some kind of AWP sniper rifle there. That's a very angry looking cat. Go on. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> did he seriously just do what I think he did? Come on, this is the last roll. Please. Oh, seriously? Oh, what were the chances? <sighs> the fur flies. It's not like I'm taking that damn anytime soon, and now that entire territory is in a goddamn mess, and that is, of course, why they call it risk. It's risky. Very risky. Now, I do have one other territory I could probably push from. But it's not going to let me attack from there. So, okay. Don't really know why that is. Looks like I'm only allowed to... I was going to say... Oh, it's because I'm clicking on the wrong number. There we go. I'm not, in fact, green. I was green last time. I'm yellow, folks. I'm yellow. Uh, that area is uh, not in a great state. But we could take this green one if we have a good roll. Or maybe we won't, because I just clicked next phase, which was kind of dumb. Right, so I can re-maneuver my troops, but I don't really have an awful lot to re-maneuver, honestly. But I think you can pretty much move them anywhere. So, right, select, no, no, don't want to go for that one, there. So we're going to maneuver that, and you can put these pretty much anywhere that you're connected to. So if I wanted to move troops all the way over here, because that area is fairly well protected right now, then I can do that. I expect to lose territory here. Now, you might notice that he's controlled some mines. Those, I believe, are required for certain objectives. And I think he's just nabbed my capital, hasn't he? Oh, dear. That's not a good thing. Yep. Oh, not good. Not good. I can't lose this game, but it's looking very likely that I'm going to at this rate. My insistence on getting control of the dam has not served me well. And I've only got four troops to draft as well. Okay. Well, if I'm going to keep suicidally throwing myself at the dam, I should really try and take the capital back, shouldn't I? Mm, maybe with three troops there, and then I'll put two there. Okay. Right, first things first, let's hope that I take control of my capital back. This is going to be pretty much an even roll by the looks of it. Okay, so I can roll one dice or two dice. I'm going to go for two dice, there we go. Hope for good rolls, a six and a three, there you go. Totally destroyed. That is mine. Thank you very much. I will have that back. All right. This will also be mine for the glory of Catopia. Single dice should be enough, I hope. There you go. Thank you. I don't know what that was. I don't even want to know. They have advanced weaponry, folks. There is also an alien race in this game. I'm not entirely sure why, but... It does give it a little bit of flavor. It, it serves no practical purpose. You don't get any special abilities from playing any of these races, but there you go. Right, I have control of the dam. So I should be able to use the Flood ability. Not actually sure what that does. When used, all additional troops in Kotka will be killed. Right. Where's Kotka? Da -da -da. That is a great question. I don't even know where Kotka is. Do I have control of Kotka? Because that seems like a very bad idea. Meow's corner. Hissing. Seriously. Feral fang chicken. Uh, catapus. 
Dear Lord. I don't even know where that is. So I don't know if I want to be using Flood or not. Anyway. Let's see what else we can do damage-wise. Mm, that's looking fairly threatening. I'm not a fan of that. I might have to re-maneuver here. If I could take over that, then at least I know he couldn't attack from it. So let's hope we can get a good dice roll on this one. Gimme, gimme, gimme what I... Yeah. There you go. Not a great roll, but his was worse. Thank you very much. Right, so at least I know he's not going to be attacking around that territory. Now, what else can I try and take control of? What else can I risk? Well, I'm probably not going to be able to hold that area. That's probably going to uh, be destroyed when he goes on for me next turn. But I don't think there's anything else I can really go for. I can maybe take this. Maybe. But that would make this quite vulnerable. So I don't know if I want to do that. Mm, yeah, I think I should just leave it as it is right now. Next phase. Maneuver troops. Is there any troop count at all that I can move that is not under heavy threat. Well, I'll move one to the capital here because I'd rather lose this territory than my capital. All right. Okay. We have two general stars. That means we should be able to get some reinforcements next time, hopefully. Minerals, minerals. Ah, now he gets that objective as well. God damn it. Not a good thing. He's got two objectives. I think I've got precisely none right now. And he takes my capital back as well. Ugh. Upsetting. In fact, that entire area is being taken out. Where's his capital? It's all the way over here. Oh, I could quite easily take that. There's no defense on that at all. I should probably put some troops in there to make that happen. Okay. Do I want to flood the continent? Let's play. Let's flood the continent, folks. There we go. Well, that's mostly done a lot of damage to them. I could take control of their mines. The thing is, he's already done his objective for the mines. So it's a shame I didn't do that earlier. Well, he lost more troops than I did. And I'm going to trade it. Two stars for two troops because I'm not in a good state right now. Again, it's not an optimal trade. You should really wait for, a, for it to go a little bit longer than that. But hey, okay, three to get in there. That should be enough, you'd think. You would think, anyway. I'm not going to get that capital back anytime soon. I don't have the access. But it's not to say that I can't do some other things. Let's have a look at this. So can't do that. That's already been got. Can't do that. Take up seven territories, control three connected cities, control two complete continents. Three connected cities. Huh, okay. Where are the cities? Is that a city? Not sure, actually, what it means by that. I assume these are all cities, actually. Yeah, that must be a city. That, I assume, is a city, and that is a city. That's going to be a little bit tricky to do, isn't it? Take over seven territories in one turn might be doable. Whatever the case, I'm not exactly winning here. It's not good. Look at that. He is kicking my ass. And I believe if he gets one more objective, then he wins. Which means he's probably going to go for this city right here. Oh, sorry, this city. We should reinforce the city. Make sure he can't easily grab it. Three more I can draft in. I don't think I can take my capital back. But I don't want him to take control of that entire continent either. Hmm. Could I take control of this continent, actually? Because I already own this one. Yeah, I could. I think. Do I have the numbers? Maybe. Right. Let's take some troops out of there. There we go. We're going to throw a lot of troops in here and hopefully take control of this entire continent. Sounds like a plan. Next phase. Engage for the glorious Cat Republic. Let's hope for a good dice roll. And he's got two bonuses, which doesn't help at all. Ah, bonus dice. God damn it. Okay, try it again. Son of a bitch! <laughs> I'm gonna lose this everything on this one, aren't I? Just use every dice we have. There we go. <laughs> you have no skin, you are flayed. Mm, don't hate the flare. Hate the flame. That doesn't make any sense. I don't know if I'm going to be able to take control of this. 
Yes, I know, but I've already lost that objective, so it doesn't really matter. He's got so many bonuses, that's the problem. He's got these bonus dice all the time. There's another one down. This is gonna be a little bit risky. But it is risk, so I'm okay with this. Mm, go on, go on, get him, get him, get him. There, yes. Caustic saliva, it's a roach going on right here. Come on, one more. Just one more, and I'll have this objective. Go on. Why won't it let me attack? Why won't it let me attack? Why? There we go. <laughs> Multiple clicks. Please. D no. No. Oh, so close, but yet so far. Ah. Well, that was getting a little hairy. I might as well take his capital while I'm here. Go on. Get him. Get him. Get him. Don't shoot my cats. Don't uh, shoot. I. Uh, this is a military disaster. Well, I'm about to lose pretty much everything I have, by the looks of it. Maneuver. I, I have barely any troops to maneuver. What is the point? Ugh. Yes, and a gold star, which is not going to help me in any way, shape, or form when my opponent destroys me entirely. Oh, look, I'm about to lose that city, which means that he'll gain control of three entire cities, which means I believe he'll also get the objective, which means he will win. Possibly. Oh, I think he's got to... Doesn't he have to connect them? Yeah, so I don't think he will win until he takes this territory, at which point he will. Do I want to flood the continent? Yes, actually, I would love to, because he's just reinforced that area, and I have no spare troops in that area, so I'm not dead yet. It's not a complete disaster. Trust Generalissimo Meow. Put your trust in him. Only five troops. Not good. I do get a cop. Oh, there we go. Cotton and bonus. Cool. Still haven't taken that capital, but hey. Right. We'll put three troops here, and I want to take control of this capital. So we'll put three troops here. And this area has to be reinforced because I'm pretty sure that he will gain the objective. I think that's what's required. I can't be 100% sure, but I really need to stop him from doing that. So taking control of this area might be helpful. Okay, first things first. Please, please, please let me outroll him on this one. No, I do not wish to skip my attack phase. For some reason, clicking on this doesn't work. There we go. There's only one specific area that you can click on it for some stupid reason. Two dice. Come on. Give, give me the win. Give me the win. Go, show me the money. Show me the money. Show me the... Why? Oh. Show me the money. Oh. Star. God damn you. The dice is not with me. I must believe in the heart of the dice. Anyway, let's try and take the capital. Get him. Get him. Dealt with. Thank you very much. Now, shouldn't have to defend that too much at all. It's completely covered. So, I might be able to take that one out. Yeah, if I can do that, he'll lose the ability to attack the dam, which would be nice. Mm, still kind of concerned about this connected city, admittedly. Let's try and take this out. Shoot him! Get him! Goddamn scumbag humans! Okay, that's that taken control of. And maybe, just maybe, we can hit this. Yeah, why not? Try and clear him out of there. Oh! What did I ever do to you? Pull your face off. Fantastic. Right, things are looking a little rosier, although still not what I would call ideal. This will not die. Can I maneuver any troops? I barely have any to maneuver. I can maybe move one from the capital because that area is currently fairly well defended. But whatever he decides to push on is going to go down, I would imagine. There we go. Let's get my star. At least get a couple of extra troops next time. And this is where he annihilates me, I would imagine. We can fast forward this turn. Where's he taking out? Well. Oh dear. He's only got part of it, at least. Besides, I don't need to flood that area anyway. Because he hasn't reinforced, so... 
All right, that could have been worse. It's okay. We're not entirely destroyed yet. Patience. Patience is a virtue. Don't do anything too risky. Okay, so I've got that one capital, so that gives me that, and a continent bonus. But I haven't got that other continent, so we need to take this. It must die. I'm not going to trade. I'm going to hold on to those for the time being. We're not that desperate. Just to make sure we get it, four troops there. Now, I would, if possible, like control of this city back. That city's been reinforced. We'll probably attack this area. Hmm. Give a few extra here, and then reinforce this area. Doesn't seem to... Yeah, he doesn't really have any route to attack this continent, so that's safe. Right. Please die. I beg of you to die. Please do so. No, don't do that. There you go, the tiny little area where the click actually works. Get him! Get him! Get him! Get him, my cat minions! God damn it, no! Get the... No! Why? Why? Why will you not surrender? Oh, stupid game with your dice rolls. Anything else? I have no problem killing anything else. Nothing. There, look. Wonderful sixes. Just die. There you go. No problems. Other one. No, it's not going to work. Ha 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 ha. There are times, ladies and gentlemen, there are times when I hate board games. Right. I have control of a city. This is good. Surely two dice rolls will easily take this out. He says as he loses all of the dice rolls. <sighs> go on. Get him. Get him. Get him. Stab him. Stab him. Get him. There we go. That's terrifying. Uh, I love the art style. I really do. I adore it. It's, it's wonderful. It really is. It helps give a much, much better feel to the game. Very well put together. Hmm. I could take that territory, but that seems kind of risky. We're not going to do that. Well, that was not as successful as I wanted it to be, but never mind. We're still not dead yet. That's the main thing. I barely have any troops on the field to remaneuver, so I guess we're just going to leave it as it is. Give me my stars. Please give me double stars. No, no double stars for me. Well, I can trade in for four troops next turn, assuming I'm not dead by then. Yes, no direct access to that city, which will help, certainly. He will... Oh, and he failed to take my capital as well. Wonderful. Excellent. It is not impossible to win yet, although it's looking like it's going to end up being that way. Hopefully, I can put in enough troops now. So, I get eight from there. Do I get a city bonus? There we go. City and eight and trade them for four. That gives me 12. Please. This surely is enough for the overwhelming force required here. Put in six. There we go. Now, I want control of... Well, actually, I don't really need control of the dam, honestly, because I'll have... They won't have a proper access route to this. I am concerned about losing that capital. We'll reinforce that to make sure that doesn't happen. And I think maybe I can p make a push on that city. Okay. Right. C now, come on. You cannot possibly fail me again. Go, Dice of Doom! Six, five, and one. Surely. The problem is it's only the first dice that counts. But you can get bonuses. Yes! 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 It is mine! It is mine! There's probably nothing worthwhile even having there, but hey. Right. This area is extremely well defended. I can remaneuver my troops out of here later. I have an objective! And I believe that also will give me the airfield at the end of the turn. Awesome. What other objectives are there that I need to do? Control three connected cities. Nobody's got that one yet. I've got this one, I think. Control... Seven, take up seven territories in one turn. Maybe. Just maybe. Right, first things first. You shall be destroyed for the glory of Catopia. Meowth, indeed. <laughs> oh, they are the best at what they do. There we go. This area needs to be taken out. Can I take that city? If I take that city... Mm, yeah, um, might be okay. Especially if I remaneuver some troops from this island over here. Right. Or I could crush this area. 
because mm, it's kind of risky, isn't it? Yeah, let, let's crush that area first. Single dice roll. That was kind of dumb. I don't know why I did a single dice roll. It wasn't what I was intending to do. Let's just go full speed on it. There we go. See what exactly happens there. What the hell did he just do? He, that, that, I... Nuclear missiles? What? I don't know where they came from. It must have been one of his objective bonuses. God damn. Right. Hopefully he doesn't have any more of those. Don't look like he needs any more of those. Now that entire area is vulnerable to attack. Awesome. Not so awesome. And I'm not going to be able to take that out, am I? Right, let's remaneuver. The one area that you can actually click on here. Reinforce this area. I think you can only maneuver once, can't you? There we go. Right. There we go. I can either pick this reward or this reward. Needless to say, it's going to be this one. Thank you very much. Two additional troops per turn. There we go. Right. I have a feeling I'm still about to lose horribly, but we're getting there. Well, there's my capital gone. And this city is still going to be a nightmare to take over. I also need to fight my way into this one. I have 12 troops, though. Good. Maybe take control of the dam and completely destroy their presence on this continent. This would also give me... Com I think that would give me control of three complete continents. We'll put four there to try and make that happen. And then... I really should try and take over the capital again, but I'd like to take this city as a priority. There we go. Give them five. Then give them eight. And... Shall I reinforce that? One more, just to make sure. Right! Hopefully this will give me the overwhelming force that I need to win here. First thing is first. Hmm. You shall be nothing but kitty litter. He says, as all of my cats get gunned down. Uh, Dice-based games. Okay. That was bad luck. We won't have any bad luck like that anymore, right? Right? Guys? Get him! Get him! Get him! Go on, get him! Bite their balls off! Scratch them! Steal all their pickles! Yes! That's what I'm talking about. The dice are in my favor. Like, it's gonna be two cities. I still need to take this one, which is looking fairly risky. But I can take both of these, I would think, without any problem at all. He says, after losing one cat, two cats, three cats. No! Don't be ridiculous! Oh, you know, I should have just. Oh. Ah! Ah! Oh, stop it! Come on! Seriously! Come on, kill them all! No! I threw it all away! Why? Now I'm gonna lose all these areas again. Ah! Well, not a lot I can do there, is there? If I'm totally honest. Maneuver! From where? I can, I can move one troop. That will be about it. And then he'll overwhelm me. Thank you for the star. It will not help. Well, I'm going to lose that city, aren't I? Yes, there we go. And that entire continent in the process. Sweet! Not happy about that at all. Hmm, maybe just maybe. If I move all my troops here... Well, I'll lose everything as I go, but... Draft a lot of my troops into this area and hopefully break my way through. Take over that territory, that territory, and that territory. We should go for the capital again. There we go. Right. Come on. Give me the rolls I need to win. Six to five and a... Double six? Ah! Oh! Overkill! No! Ah! The computer cheats! Obviously! God. Yes, if you roll a double six, it is an overkill attack. It is really nasty. Huge amounts of damage. 
I'm going to lose every attack here, aren't I? Which means that'll pretty much lose me the game if I don't make any gains here at all. Right, well, that's at least him dealt with. Now we should be able to, able to take over that and the other city, and probably the capital as well. Well, at least force him to try and respond to that. Scratch him to death. Go on. No, no, no. As you can see, when you roll three dice, it does not give you that overwhelming force. But it does give you an opportunity for, like, a mass overkill attack, so it's worth doing. There we go. And can we take that last city? Shall we even try? Probably not worth the risk. I'd rather hold on to the capital. Because I'm not going to be able to take this city objective this turn anyway, so what's the point? I'm fairly sure they have to be connected cities, don't they? Yeah, so... I'm going to have to have a connection all the way through there, which I do not have right now. Actually, if I took that area... Oh, I have that area. I don't have that city, so... Cool. Right, well, I'm not attacking much else this turn, am I? As you can see, this is going on for quite some time. I don't really want to keep going on with this, actually. Uh, it's probably quite boring to watch. Hey, watch me play a board game for an hour. God, I hope not. Give me my star. Thank you very much. But yeah, my overall impressions of this is pretty positive, honestly. It's it's what I would want if I was looking for a risk game. Obviously, I haven't tried the classic risk mode. We might go and have a quick look at that just to see how well it performs. I think I've just lost anyway, so there you go. He has control of three connected cities, which means I lose horribly. There you go. Convenient timing. Let's have a look at the classic mode, shall we? I came back from Sweden, and I've got a cold. It sucks. As you could probably tell throughout this video. <laughs> God damn. You wouldn't have thought there'd be any germs up there, but there you go. Classic risk mode. I'll have a quick look at this. We won't play an entire game. You can still... Well, these are just colours, I think. There we go. Right. Let's see how this plays. Probably the same as you would expect. Doo -doo -doo. Yep, we can fast forward past all the AI stuff. Thank you very much. This does have full multiplayer, if you have the patience to wait. It is a board game, after all. It can take some time. Doo -doo -doo. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Wait for the moves. Even on fast forward, I've got to say this is not as fast as I would like. There we go. Can I remember how to play normal risk as opposed to the 2008 rules? Great question. So you're supposed to get cards, aren't you? Is it that at the end of the turn? Maybe. Can't recall. Take over that area. Three dice should do it, hopefully. There we go. No problems at all. Cool. Next phase. Maneuver. Finish. There you go. Yeah, that's how it works. Yeah, so that, that just works fine, really. Nothing particularly special about it. Nothing you really need to see as far as I'm concerned. And then you've got the cards which you can trade for troops, etc, etc. So, it works a little bit different to the 2008 rule set. That will do for the time being. Aside from that, that's pretty much all of us to it, really. It's good at what it does, from what I can tell. It seems to have good online. It's already got quite a few people playing, as you can see. Leaderboards. It's at least got 587 people currently playing online in some way. There are also leaderboards for number of overkills. 261 overkills. That guy's clearly haxing. Territories conquered. Territories destroyed, which is good. That's nice. It's very nice. It's good that they've got so many stats involved. And you've also got friend leaderboards, which is a very smart thing to do. Apparently, I have a single person on my friends list that owns this game, aside from me. Your war record's good. Multiplayer, again, seems fine. It's hard to really come out and say, oh, this is an amazing risk game. because It's... it's 
It's risk. <laughs> it's a board game. But the most important thing to know in any board game to computer game translation is that it plays in a fairly slick manner and it's enjoyable. They take the adaptation of the game and they add in what is good about computer games, which is the ability to present things in a particularly visual, animated, and vibrant manner. And this game is vibrant. It is very, very vibrant indeed. It is not particularly expensive either, which does certainly help its case. I think, yes, it's 10 US dollars, 8 pounds, or 10 euros. So as usual, the Europeans do get a little bit of a premium on that one. But otherwise, it's a $10 game, and it does look very, very good for a $10 game indeed. You may also notice, if you've played the Penny Arcade game, that the animations look quite similar, as does the graphic style. There's a reason for that. It's the same guys. It's the powerhouse studio that did the work for the Penny Arcade games, and also did the work here. And as far as I can tell, it should run on pretty much anything. I've not noticed any performance problems. I've, most importantly, perhaps not noticed any issues at all in terms of of a console port, and it is a console port. It was out on consoles first. No problems there at all. And perhaps most importantly, it appears to have achievements, although by the looks of it, I haven't unlocked any of them. So I guess we're not looking at that. So there you go, folks. That was a look at Risk Factions, available on Steam right now. My name has been Total Biscuit, and I think I need some cough medicine. God, <laughs> I'll see you next time. Thanks, Sweden.